Welcome to the morning prayer meeting. If you have the Bible, look at the book of Zephaniah. Zephaniah chapter 3, verses 14 to 20. Book of Zephaniah chapter 3, verses 14 to 20. I can read for you. Sing on thoughts of Zion. Shout aloud, O Israel. Be glad and rejoice with all your heart, O daughter of Jerusalem. The Lord has taken away your punishment, and he has turned back your enemy. The Lord, the King of Israel, is with you. Never again will you fear any harm. On that day they will say to Jerusalem, Do not fear, O Zion. Do not let your hand be hang up uh, limp up. And the uh, Lord your God is with you. He is mighty to save. He will take great delight in you. He will quite you with his love. He will rejoice over you with singing. The sorrow for his, the appointed feast. I will remove from you the, the, the burden and, and reproach uh, to you. At the time I will deal with all your problems to you, I will rescue the lamb and uh, gather those who have been scattered. I will give them praise and honor in every land where they were put to shame. At the time I will gather you, at the time I will bring you home, I will give you honor and praise. Among all the people of the earth, when I restore your fortune before your very eyes. Yeah, I'm in the airport, Yosu Airport. Uh, very soon I fly to go to Jeju Island. Jeju Island is one of the beautiful islands. I know there is a holiday, Tokyo Olympic Games in Japan. Uh, I'm in still in South Korea. I will go back to England on the 7th of August. And I miss all of our members of London Shepherd Church. I love them and bless them. I share the word of the Lord, Book of Zephaniah, chapter 3, verse 14 to 20. I will to share with you verse 18, about 19 to 20. At the time, I will deal with you, all you oppose you. I will rescue the lamb and then gather those who have been scattered. I will give them honor and praise. Praise and honor. Let God help you. Let God bless you with His uh, uh, honor and praise. It's not wonderful. Yeah, people on earth will praise you. People on earth honor you. Especially Almighty God praise you. Almighty God honor you. Why? If you look at verse 17, Zephaniah 3, verse 17, the Lord your God is with you. He is mighty to save. He will. He will, he will take great delight in you. Can you imagine? He get a great delight in you. It's a wonderful news. Yeah? And he will quite quite you with his love. He will delight and then his love. You know when Jesus received the water baptism, what God say, He is my beloved, my son, and I'm, I'm well pleased. These two things. God so pleased with you and God say to you, you are my beloved child, beloved man and woman of God. And at that time, God will gather together with you, and then God will give you what? Honor and praise. Verse 19 say, God will give them praise and honor. Verse 20 say, God will give you honor and praise. Isn't that wonderful? Among all the people of the earth. And um, let God give you more grace and more peace, more honor, and more praise. If you guys say to you, well done, it's, it's done. Doesn't matter one million or even, even one billion people, or five billion, even the whole nation, the whole population of the world will say to you, well done, and um, they honor you, doesn't matter. Matter is when God say to you, well done, God honor you and praise you. That is the best of the best. Let God do something for you. You know, wherever I go, I preach the gospel. Today, this morning, I, I, I love to buy uh, some shoes for my mother. You know, I tried to buy the shoes and send to her from England to South Korea. But my mother said to me, I will go to the shoe shop and uh, with you, and you can buy the shoes for me. And then I went there with my mother. Thanks be to God. You know, she used to go there for 20 years, more than 20 years, and she knows her friend, my mother's friend. Her name is Sister Lee. And then she's a Roman Catholic. She never understands what does mean of born again. 
And then I was preached the gospel and then thanks be to God, she opened her heart and she received Jesus as her personal savior. And she become a born again. It's not wonderful news. The Roman Catholic lady, she opened her heart and she received the, uh, the Lord Jesus as her personal savior. Praise God. Wherever I go, I share the good news of Lord Jesus. Let God receive the glory and honor and power. That is my, my job. How about you? Can you preach the good news of Lord Jesus uh, in season and uh, out of season? People, they are so busy for their own agenda. But I'm very busy for winning the soul for Jesus. How about you? You can preach the good news of Lord Jesus. And um, yeah, God is the glory and honor and power. Let God bless you. Let God take away your, all your punishment from all the, all the darkness. Today is a day of salvation. May God bless you. Let me pray for you. Father, I pray for my um, my brother sisters. According to the book of Zephaniah, chapter 3, verse 19 and 20, I can pray. Lord, would you bless them abundantly? Father God, your kingdom come, your will be done. The spirit of the living God comes on them. Oh Lord, use them mightily for your glory. Father, give us grace to bring the goodness of Lord Jesus for South Korea, Asia, Europe, all of the world, especially many, many people to come to uh, Japan. Let God bring the goodness for all these uh, people in uh, in Japan, especially those who come for Olympic game. Oh Lord, they can hear the goodness of Lord Jesus. Father, I pray, pray for people of Japan. Japan shall be saved. South and North Korea shall be saved. China shall be saved. Father, I thank you. We bless your name. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. God will give you honor and praise. When God give you honor and praise, how wonderful news. Have a wonderful day today. Be blessed and I will see you. I will go to Jeju Island very soon. Have a wonderful day today. God bless you. Bye now.